Hi everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. In this COVID situation, we need more and more support and support from the guys and everyone like you. So let's go into the video. Here is the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 that has been tastefully modified into a dual purpose motorcycle. With some parts borrowed from the Royal Enfield Himalayan, this machine promises to deliver the best of both motorbikes. Called the Lila, it is, it is the work of the East India Motorcycle. Based in Hyderabad, these guys are in the motorcycle customization business for the last decade. As can be seen in the pictures, Lila features several aftermarket and custom build parts. For instance, the TEC Stinger 2 Wind 1 full system exhaust not only looks cool but also helps to reduce the overall weight of the machine by 14 kg. That's too high, you know. Similarly, the seat and the skid plate had, has been uh, done in the fiberglass, whereas the side body panels are of aluminium. The biggest change in the modified Royal Enfield in the 650 is the suspension. It is fitted with the Royal Enfield. Himalayan front tubes with the YSS fork enhancement kit. At the back is the YSS monoshock designed for the Himalayan. They had mentioned that installing the monoshock was the trickiest part. They had to find the balance between the ground clearance and the saddle height. Also to accommodate the monoshock many arrangements had to be done. For example, the stock sing arm and frame were altered. The modified Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 is running on a 21 inch front and 17 inch rear wheel. For tires, we have dual purpose Metzeler Karo. They, they have said that high performance care and an air filters are used in this motorcycle. They have also created a custom engine and fuel tank guard, which we think could have been made better and doesn't gel with the otherwise fantastic job. For aesthetics, a Lila flaunts with its pearl white fuel tank with the red and white pin stripping and Royal Enfield logo. The Ducati red color on the chassis adds a good contrast. Most of the other parts are finished in the matte black. We can also see that the stock rear view mirrors have been replaced by high quality of the mark units. This addition of knuckle guards also enhances the bike's overall visual appearance. We would like to hear more about you on this comment section. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I know this is a short video and this is not a real video. So let's hope for the